My name is Pastor Tat Ming. I'm a student of His Eminence, the 25th Sam Rinpoche. I'm going to share with you the topic, Incense Offering to Doji Shudan. Before we begin, let's look at the meaning of incense offering. Incense offering is known as Sang So in Tibetan. Sang means the actual incense, whereas So means propitiation. Generally, incense is used as air freshener, which keeps one's surrounding flavoured with good scent. Incense is commonly used by the different faiths for religious purposes. In the Buddhist tradition, incense is used for puja offering and purification. Lord Buddha used especially incense as a parable of how upholding one's morality, that is, upholding the Vinaya, will actually create pure scent and pure smell. An example of incense offering being practiced in the past is how Magadha Sangmo made incense offering to Buddha Shakyamuni and his entourage. Magadha Sangmo recited a prayer and offered incense from the roof of a house in order to invite Buddha Shakyamuni and his entourage to a feast and to receive alms at a home. Magadha Sangmo was a close and faithful female devotee of Buddha Shakyamuni who had performed many great deeds. Many people are brought into the path of Dharma due to her effort. Mangara Samo is later considered to be the first incarnation of His Eminence, the 25th Sam Rinpoche. In the past, Kyapche Tujan Doje Chang was on a pilgrimage tour of Tibet. When he was staying at Sumo Sao Monastery for the day, he made offerings there before the stupa of Duzin Drapa Gyalsen. It was well known that the stupa with Duzin Drapa Gyalsen's relically body was at Sumo Sao Monastery. At the time, it was necessary to make some repairs to the place where it was being kept. The monastery administration had requested Kyapche Tujan Doje Chang to perform a water puja to reconsecrate the stupa. When the stupa was opened, among the holy objects placed inside, there was a wooden box where inside was the entire holy body with no decay and had grown a bit, quite a bit of hair. It was wrapped in a two monks' robes. The fragrant sense of pure morality like sandalwood spread throughout a large area at the monastery. This is another testament that upholding one's morality would actually create a fragrant sense of sandalwood. Lama Sungkapa's direct disciple, Dusin Drapa Gyalsen, held his Vinaya vows so perfectly that his body emits fragrant scents like that of the sand of an incense. According to Lord Buddha, incense is akin to upholding one's morality and offerings incense remind us to constantly uphold our vows and commitments purely. The offering of incense also signifies the restoration of our broken vows and commitments. Many Buddhist masters from the various Theravada, Mahayana and Vajrayana traditions have attested to this that when they hold their vows very well, their bodies will emit beautiful smell of incense. How to prepare the incense for offering? Firstly, gather an incense burner. The incense burner comes in various sizes and shapes, such as in the shape of a bowl or a square box typically used in the Tibetan traditions. We will use the square Tibetan incense burner to illustrate the incense offering. Within this incense burner, you will find a compartment where you can make the incense offering. Inside this compartment, you should put a layer of ash so that the incense, when lit, does not burn the bottom of the incense burner. Ensure that the incense to be offered had not been trampled on by humans or animals. Place a scope or more scope where necessary of incense powder on top of the layer of ashes. Then you can light an incense stick with a lighter and place it on top of the incense powder. This will produce a fragrance of incense which is then offered to the three jewels and to the protector especially. This is a safe and convenient way to make an incense offering in our homes which does not require a big fire the incense can also be placed and burned outdoor in a large burner called Sangpe. 
this allowed us to burn greater amount of incense. There are many types of incense powder and incense sticks. Incense usually comprise of treats, shrubs, flowers, and herbs. Many lamas have their own special incense recipes. For example, Kyapche Pabongka Rinpoche has a special recipe of incense written in his sumbum that is offered to invoke the presence of the protector for his assistance. Similarly, Kyapche Song Doje Chang is known to use this ingredient called Sangdrup Chengak in his incense offering to the protector. You may purchase incense powder in a packet form and also incense sticks, which are conveniently available in Kachara. What other occasions besides our daily offerings to Doji children can we make incense offering? On many auspicious occasions, such as the New Year, the Buddha's birthday, Guru's birthday, or even your own personal birthday, birthdays of people whom we love and care, we can make extensive incense offering by preparing vast amount of substances to put inside the burner and make this special incense offering. This offerings of incense is very potent when done for someone who is going for an operation, who is very sick, who is delivering a baby. It, it is very efficacious to do so. What are the benefits of incense offering? His Eminence, Sam Rinpoche has always recommended this incense offering practice to his students to avoid obstacles and dangers in their lives. For example, we can invoke upon the protector by burning a small amount of incense combined with a bit of protector incense and protector rice when we are at an unclean and dangerous environment. Some other benefits of incense offering it performed regularly are it creates the causes for long life and good health. It increases the merit of a person to further their Dhamma practice. We shall be endowed with a beautiful body. Whenever we speak Dhamma, people will be drawn by our presence. Eventually, this will lead them into the path of Dhamma. Now we will look at how to perform the incense offering ritual. One of the most notable Galup Lamas, known as Sakong Doje Chang of the Gandan Monastery, had composed an incense offering ritual to Doje Shuren. Sakong Doje Chang was a Mahasiddha, a Geshe Larimpa degree holder at the mere age of 24, and also an accomplished Rajagini practitioner. Gather the incense substances to be burned and placed into a burner as mentioned earlier. We are now making incense offering to the gurus, the three jewels, and of course, Doji children and his retinue of deities. Begin by taking refuge, setting the bodhicitta motivation, and contemplating the four immeasurables. For those with tantric initiation, to visualize themselves as their idams. Recite seven times or 21 times of Mixema mantras. Then we recite the Doji Shudan Sangso offering prayer. In the beginning of the Sangso prayer, we visualize Doji Shudan coming down from Gandan heaven together with his retinue. And as we visualize the retinue before us, all the beautiful smoke from our incense burner goes out to them to purify and to make offerings, vast amount of offerings to them. In the Doji Shudan Sangso offering prayer, it says that we are purifying the deities with incense. We are actually purifying our karma through the deities. At some point of the prayer, after we have invited the deities, we will recite Om Ah Hum. This three syllable mantra is very powerful in purifying all thoughts from the incense. And this is very important because when we purify the substances in incense, we create no causes to offer defile or impure incense. We can further make visualization that from this cloud of smoke, the offerings of the eight auspicious signs, seven royal emblems, the eight great substances blessed by Buddha Shakyamuni. 
the smoke is the means of offering. But in actual fact, we can make further offerings, for example, auspicious signs, so on and so forth. What follows is a Doje Shudan Sang So offering prayer written by Sakong Doje Chang. I would like to recite this special incense offering prayer and explain what to do at certain points. I will begin the prayer now. Hung, visualizing myself as the Idam, from the heart, light emanates, clearing all thoughts from incense. Sense having the five desirable qualities, complete imperfection, granting uncontaminated bliss, fills the extent of awareness. Om Ah Hum. Repeat as many times to bless using this three syllable Om Ah Hum. At this point, you will have your incense burner and the incense burning inside your incense burner. As you arise, as you eat them, for those of you who had initiation, please arise as you eat them. If you do not have an idam, you can just visualize Lama Sunkapa coming from Gandan heaven. From the heart of Lama Sunkapa, bright lights emanate, purifying all thoughts of the incense inside your incense burner. Once it is purified, it transforms into limitless amount of offerings to the gurus and also the protectors of the ten direction, especially Doji Shudan. So at this point of time, after you have purified the incense, next we need to visualize your root guru in the form of Lama Sunkapa. Visualize protector Doji Shudan together with his four immediate emanations and all his entourage, and subsequently all the idams and bodhisattvas of the ten directions. Visualize them clearly before you, and then from the cloud of smoke comes beautiful offerings, which is offered to the protector and the three jewels. Then recite the following Hung, root and lineage gurus, three jewels, dakas, dakinis, and dhamma protectors, especially doji shudan and retinue. By boundless magical power, come here. Also, birth warrior and patron deities, local deities, spirits and guardians with the eight classes, assembly of guests, worthy of offering, please come here. Each happily dwelling on their seats for the sake of fulfilling the yogi's entrusted activities, outer, inner clouds of offerings, commitment substances and presence. Accept these and accomplish the entrusted activities. At this point, you visualize a host of guests receiving your sang offering. From the three jewels to all the gurus, lineage gurus, buddhas, bodhisattvas, deities, all the different classes of protectors, and even the local deities who reside in the local areas. They too can accept your offerings. You visualize them before you. From the clouds of smoke, beautiful offerings is offered to them. Next, you recite the following. Kia, Aga, sandalwood, six medicinal ingredients and plants. But the smoke cloud from the burning, wisdom, fire, completely filling the sky, purifies the root and lineage lamas, idams and tree jewels, purifies the dakas, dakinis and dharma protectors, purifies especially the chief dharma protector of the conqueror, Manju, Nanta, Doje, Shudan, and four cardinal emanations. Purifies birth, war, and five patron gods. Purified local deities, spirits, guardians, and the eight classes. By the power offering incense worthy to worthy guests, may all obscuration of quarrel and samaya be purified. May lifespan, merit, and power all increase pacify all diseases to humans and animals, famine, war and dispute. May the crops be good and the rain be timely. Conquer classes the demons of the dark side. Increase the positive and having befriended spontaneously and effortlessly, attain all goals just as wish. 
Kiki Soso Lagya Lo. At this point, we have finished the offering to all the guests we have invited. At once we have finished making this offering, we invite the guests to return to their actual abodes. The enlightened beings will return to their mandala and pure lands. And the worldly beings will return to their abodes where they reside. You will recite the following Hum. Being pleased and satisfied, guests return to their abodes, returning again upon request for activities. By this virtue, may I myself and all mother beings have perpetual auspiciousness of happiness and benefit. So this is the end of the prayer. It is very short, powerful and effective prayer that can be recited at any time, anywhere, to invoke upon the protector's blessing and help especially in times of need. I hope with this explanation, you may be able to start your own incense offering practice at home on a daily basis to purify your negative karmas, especially those from broken samayas, and to create causes to uphold the morality, vows, commitments which you have taken. This concludes my sharing of the practice of incense offering to protect the Doje Shudan. Thank you. <laughs>